G'day guys, welcome back. I really, really love that last 3D flower that I did. These guys, aren't they beautiful? So I'm gonna go again with the same resin, this one here, Art Class One Hour Epoxy. That's the A, that's the B, equal parts. I've got 45 grams of each. Um, that's one and a half ounces of each in there. I tried not to mix it too much because being a thicker resin, it sort of holds its bubbles a little bit more. But I'm hoping they will disperse once I put them out. Um, I've got half an ounce in there, 15 grams. That'll be for my white. So I'm gonna, just going to spray my, my mold with some alcohol. I'll move these guys out of the way, hey, so I don't ruin them. All right, let's see if we can put half in this one. And then the other half in this one. I'm not making them too full. Hopefully the alcohol will be all right in there. <laughs> it should just disappear, hopefully. I'm just hoping it'll kind of stop the bubbles from clinging to the sides. But I will be have to be careful when I torch so I don't set things on fire. This one's got a bit more now. So with this resin, um, if you didn't watch that last video of those 3D flowers, um, probably a good idea to watch that one because I'll go into a little bit more in depth with that, about that resin. So I'm just gonna get straight into it this time. So instead of doing yellow, pink and blue that I did on that one, I'm going to change it up a little bit and go for some brownish tones, which I think will be nice for a change. So I've got the Let's Resin. I've got orange, brown and black. So I'm going to do those and see what that looks like. Because I've done all the rainbow things. I've done quite a lot of the really bright colours lately. Um, and I'd like to try something a little bit different. Let's move you out of the way so I don't set you on fire. Torch the bubbles. All right. Um, so let's get started. I'll do the orange in the middle. That's the orange, yes. And go a little bit around the side as well it's good that it's spreading hey because when I do my other resins by the time I wait an hour for my resin to get to the right consistency um, it's too well I was gonna say it's too thick but this is thick too I kind of wait for it to get to this consistency and the resin the ink doesn't spread all right let's do the brown I wonder why some of them spread more than others. I don't know. Because this one's not spreading as much, is it? Um, and let's do a little bit more orange here. It's kind of, whoops. I am gonna get my little stick and sort of run through it in a minute, just to kind of blend them. Now, I realize that doing black ink um, with then white flowers is probably going to go black. That's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, here we go with the black. I'll try and get that on the outside. It looks almost the same as the brown, doesn't it? But I think once the white sort of touches them, they will change. Come on, out you come. Maybe I need to drop them from higher up, then they might spread a bit more. Okay, so there's my colours. Um, sit there for a minute. Alright, um, where's my little stick thing? 
small little stick thing. Oh, there it is. It's just the little um, silicone paintbrush sticky thing. I don't know what you call it. All right, so let's just give these a little swirl just to kind of incorporate those colors a bit. Okay. Because they're all going to want to pull in from the outside in anyway. So I want to make sure that I've got the color right up to the outside. Um, what are you? Put another little drop or two there. Okay. Kind of spread them evenly as evenly as I can all right that'll do for spreading now the white let's move on to the white I'm using the just resin titanium white look I think any white will work personally I've tried lots of different white pigment pastes and they all seem to work and I'm using a little stick I've got three different size sticks but let's use the little one give it a good stir wipe the stick off and then just whatever's left on is what I'm going to use but um, the the white resin that's in <laughs> on the stick goes up further than what's in the, the cup so I'm going to have to kind of tilt it like that and then scrape to get that white resin off look you don't need a lot titanium white or any white paste seems to be very very heavy now the last one, when I did these, I just sort of dipped my stick in and made the petals. This time I'm going to try a little bit different because you don't want to see me do exactly the same thing each time. And I don't either. I want to change it up a little bit. So I want to try and see what happens when I pipe them. Because I haven't piped this resin before. So it's starting to get warm. I can feel it. I'll pop it in the piping bag. And I don't want to make the little hole too big and get too much resin out because then a lot comes out and it, like I said it's really heavy and it just wants to sink so you're better off just doing um, you know a little hole not too small though it's it's hard to it's hard to explain you just have to practice wind that up let's make a little make a little hole just want to see what it looks like yeah okay so that seems to be coming out nicely so um, I'm actually going to I'm not going to do the circles and then pull through like everyone's sort of doing at the moment and I've been doing it too I'm gonna to draw petals like I did on on that one all right actually quick torch quick torch I can see a bubble Now I've only got half a gram, uh, half an ounce, so 15 grams of resin. So hopefully that's going to be enough. I should have made a little white blob in the middle first, so I knew where my centre was. But I'm just going to just do this. No particular pattern, just going round and round. come back over here to this side you can have one more over there and then back over here fill these gaps in okay right now off to the second one and hopefully I've got enough left over now that's my center see that's what I should have done then I can sort of go around it give myself something to work to Squeezing a little bit with my thumb just to get that resin to come down. I'm always off to the side. Look, I don't know why. I don't 
don't know why I'm off to the side. All right, now I'm just going to put a little bit more in the center there. So I'm going to give that a bit of a swirl. All right, look, I've got a tiny bit left, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully I've got enough there. Oh, no, I wanted to wait. I just want to wait five minutes. Um, and then I'm going to swirl the center. I'm going to see if that makes any difference to get that real 3D kind of a look in the middle. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to give that a little bit of heat with my heat gun. Just wait for it to warm up. I should have these on turntables. going to push a little bit from the outside in just to help them along, help them move. And the other one. See it's thick, the resin, like it's not moving a lot when I blow the blow it with the heat. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna come back to you in five minutes. I'm just trying to loosen this. Nope, <laughs> it's stuck. A little bit stuck to the that black there, stuck to the mold anyway can't do much about it um hopefully it'll move away and then i'll be able to free it up a bit stop fiddling woman All right i'm going to come back to you in a few minutes and we'll do the swirl okay i want to see if that makes any difference at all looks a bit of a dog's breakfast at the moment doesn't it bit of a mess been a few minutes. Um, I'm not sure whether I've, I shouldn't have given it any heat. I always, I always give it heat and then I, afterwards I regret it saying I shouldn't have. So this, there's a, a couple over here on this side that aren't doing anything. Um, and the same over here on this side. So I'm not sure whether it didn't have as much heat or it had too much heat. Those two, both on that side. Um, they just aren't really blooming, but we'll see what happens. Let's give it a swirl in the middle. Let's see if I can get a really 3D look to it. I don't know if it makes any difference, like waiting or not waiting. That's why I want to see if it'll make a difference. I want to do quite a big swirl. And one day I'm going to swirl like the whole thing. Maybe I can swirl one and swirl not the other, hey? What do you think? We'll see. There we go. That's that one done. I'm tempted to swirl the whole thing. I probably regret it. See, I don't know if you can see on the sides there. It's not. It's not blooming. But um, these ones I did the. Well, we can't see they're off screen. But those ones I did differently to these ones. This ones I'm putting the the white on top. The other ones I put the white sort of inside the other resin. So again I want to see if it makes any difference. I'll just do that. It's starting to get quite sticky already. So this resin is pretty much sets up in an hour. Um, you can demold it in probably three to four hours. I mean, you could demold it earlier, but it will be bendy. So I'd prefer just to wait until it's hard um, and then demold it. But yeah, I mean, it can certainly be demolded earlier, but it will still be bendy. Right. Well, I guess we just have to wait now. These still aren't doing anything. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think it's going to work as well as those other two, but I want to see if it's got anything to do with the piping method 
or not. Right, uh, well, I'll be back in a few hours and uh, we will demold them. I'll take you down and I'll show you what I mean. About those ones. See, they're not moving. These ones are. But um, yeah, those two at the top there aren't doing anything, and I don't know why. I don't know why these ones are moving. I may have made my piping little bits too thin. Look at that one, that one spread heaps. See, that one might be thicker. The more you put down like a bigger line, and then obviously it can spread more. Whereas if you put down a little thin line, it, it can't really spread or it could just be the fact that I overheated it I don't know all right we shall see in a few hours either way what they look like see you then righto guys it's the next day they're all set up they don't look very attractive on this side do they <laughs> let's hope there's something pretty on the other side right Let's have a little look. Let's get them out. Come out really easily. There we go. Throw that over there. Alrighty. I should move this one out of the way so that we can see this one. Oh, are you ready? I hope it works. Such high expectations because that last one was so beautiful. All right, here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, shut the front door. My gosh. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's a bit of transparency there. So these outer petals are quite sort of caramelly color aren't they and then we've got the darker brown even though I put the brown on the outside and then we've got that orangish center and a tiny little bit of yellow in the middle that orange looks as if it's glowing with the light behind it there wow that is so pretty I wish I could get my camera to focus like it used to. It did an update or upgrade or whatever on my phone. And now it's just not focusing the way it used to. And I don't know how to go back. <laughs> I wish I could go back and get my old update. All right, that's, that is just gorgeous. Let's have a look at the next one. Put you over there. All right. Let's get him out. Most likely going to be the same as the last one, hey? Throw it out. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's even better. I think it's because this one's got more petals. We've got one, two, three layers over here. Wowzers, that is just incredible. I know the colours aren't as pretty as the other one that I did, but I wanted to go for something more natural, organic kind of look. It looks like fabric blowing in the wind, doesn't it? Look how, look how delicate that is. See, I didn't put much um, white in, so it's only just opaque like it's not even opaque really it's it's still quite translucent you can see through it and I think that's what makes it look so 3d and so kind of fly away look at the center oh it's so pretty <gasps> I think this one's my favorite 
out of the two anyway. See this one, has that still got three petals? Um, one, two, three. Yeah, this, it's probably got a little bit more colour in it though on this one. Whereas this one is just so delicate looking. So there we go. Right, I'm going to do more of these. Let me know what colours you'd like to see. Um, I'm thinking shades of green, shades of blue. How about purple and magenta? Oh, lots and lots that I want to do. So pretty. Oh, and that's what I was thinking. You know how I only do sort of one or two of these at, the, at a time? Well, what? that's because the resin sets up so fast. What about like if you're doing it and you do two of each colour and then if you want to give them away or sell them, you can do, give them like in a set of four, one brown, one pink, one blue, one green. That way people get like a set, but they're all different. Same but different, hey? Oh my gosh, I just love it. All right, that's me done, you guys. Move on to the next one. Let me know what you think of these ones. I really, really love them. So pretty. <laughs> you can see the shimmer of that underneath that one. Anyway, all right. Um, and if you've got any ideas of how I can get back my previous upgrade, because I like that one better, I'll have to Google it. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I will see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.